Well, the OLS uh, estimation so described yields uh, what is it called blue estimator or best linear unbiased estimator. Um, so what is uh, best? Well, we call it best because it produces uh, the smallest minimal uh, mean square error. Minimal mean square error. Given the same uh, sample size uh, n, well, uh, minimal mean square error also translates to what? Uh, the minimum sum of square errors. They're uh, almost identical, okay? And um, why we call uh, um, biased? Um, well, um, biasedness means that the expected value of the estimator is equal to the population parameter. And under uh, such uh, uh, framework, we can get, well, our OLS estimator to be equal to x prime x inverse x prime y, and our estimated uh, variance, covariance matrix of the OLS um, estimator is um, S square, uh, which is defined as one over uh, N minus K minus one multiplied by a summation of um, for I, first observation to the nth observation, uh, yi, that is observed y, minus the expected y, um, computed by um, x beta hat. Well, after we take that difference, we square that, we sum across and multiply by this factor, we get s squared. s squared is the estimator of sigma squared. Because if you remember, uh, the variance of a beta, not the variance hat, not the estimated variance. Okay? The variance of beta hat is equal to sigma square x prime x inverse. Because right? we don't know sigma square. Sigma square is a population parameter, so we'll have to estimate. And s square is our sample analog of sigma square. Okay? Uh, so uh, blue, and next I want to quickly talk about um, biasedness and its proof. So what is unbiasedness? As was uh, presented in the previous slide, unbiasedness refers to the expected value, which refers to the fact that the expected value of an estimator is equivalent of its corresponding population parameter. So this is a kind of conceptual definition and let's get into a bit of um, uh, details. So let's say a statistic, uh, theta hat, okay. it could be a uh, sample mean, it could be, let's say a sample regression uh, slope or intercept serves as an estimator of theta. Well, theta is a population parameter, it could be population mean, it could be population regression uh, coefficients uh, based on any observed data x, right? In the bias of theta hat, because we use sample data, right? Uh, and the sample data won't yield an estimate that is exactly equivalent of population parameter. A lot of times we off. Uh, a little bit, hopefully, and, uh, and other times we're off a lot, right? So the bias, or in lay person's term, the difference between theta hat and theta is defined as what? Well, is the bias of theta hat and theta and, you know, a notation, and how to compute that? Well, basically we take expectation of theta hat the expectation difference between theta hat and theta. Okay? And um, we get this term because theta here is a constant, taking expectation a constant over data, of course, still going to yield that constant. 
So our question becomes whether this term becomes that term, whether the expectation of theta hat is equivalent of theta, okay? If that's true, then the bias is zero, and we can call that a unbiased estimator. So let's calculate the bias of OLS uh, estimator, right? So we take expectation of this OLS estimator. And uh, if you remember uh, how we calculated, right? Beta had OLS is equal to what? X prime X inverse X prime Y. Right, and we use x beta plus epsilon uh, from structural equation to replace y. So, uh, okay, and uh, um, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna use distributive law to kind of uh, expand this term, right? And uh, this term here, okay, first this term, right? X from x inverse x prime x beta, uh, that is a constant because beta is population parameter and X is given. So uh, that term gonna get out that expectation uh, operator without any change. And then what's left is the expectation of X prime X inverse X prime Y. Well, on the left here, because X prime X inverse X prime X, they cancel out, right? This part becomes beta, okay? And uh, on the right-hand side, uh, we're going to add a little bit um, uh, operation uh, to get to the results that we want. So what we do is I'm going to get take a conditional expectation, okay, of x prime x inverse x prime epsilon, okay. So conditional on x. Then I'm going to take an expectation over X. So taking conditional expectation of, of X, then take expectation of that, they cancel out. They cancel out, okay? And why we need to do this, uh, go through this additional rehearsal to get our result. You will see that in a minute, okay? In a minute. So for the term, for the conditional expectation, okay? So for X prime X inverse X prime, Conditional on X, well, that's a constant. So we can take that out of uh, the expectation within, right? Uh, so what's left is expectation of error term, epsilon uh, conditional on X. And what is that term? Well, based on the third assumption we talked about um, uh, in one of the previous sessions, we know that we assume this is equal to zero. Right? And if this is zero, then this term is zero. What we get? Well, we get beta plus zero. So what is the expectation of beta hat? Well, that's beta. And when we take a difference of these two, it's gonna become zero. Well, if the bias is zero, then uh, we can say, uh, the beta hat OLS estimator is an unbiased estimator. And that's reason why we call a beta hat OLS uh,